Elsewhere, Israeli forces have detained a Palestinian lawmaker in the occupied West Bank. Abdel Jaber Foraha from the Change and Reform Bloc and the Palestinian Legislative Council was beaten violently at his home in Ramallah before being taken away by Israeli forces. This is the sixth time that Foraha is being arrested by Israeli forces for his anti-Zionist stance. He spent a total of more than six years in jail. Foraha was last uh, released in April 2015. Israel has arrested over 5,000 Palestinians since October 2015. Journalist and political commentator Yusuf Alhelu joins us now from the British capital, London. Mr. Alhelu, uh, Al welcome to the program. Uh, first of all, give us your perspective uh, on the recent incident involving Abdel Jaber Fouraha uh, from the Change and Reform Bloc. Yes, well, the arrest of the lawmakers, whether they are affiliated to the uh, Reform Bloc or other um, lawmakers, is a continuation policy. Uh, aimed at um, deepening, deepening the split between uh, the two main rebel factions, uh, Fatah and Hamas, and also an, an attempt to uh, sabotage or weaken the popular uh, uprising taking place across the Palestinian uh, territories. Um, recent statements by Israeli officials saying uh, that they have no peace partner, and um, the situation in the occupied territories uh, show that um, Israel does not respect international law. Uh, or um, the, re the election results that brought uh, the Palestinian uh, government uh, to power. Um, in the past years, Israel arrested a, numerous, a, a number of uh, lawmakers, uh, a number of them is still in prison, uh, including um, uh, women. And this is not only uh, targeting Palestinian lawmakers, uh, ordinary Palestinians are being targeted on a daily basis um, in an attempt, as I say, to silence uh, the, the voice of resistance. Mr. Alhelu, uh, what's alarming is also the silence of the international community as uh, um, in this case and in many other cases uh, these are elected officials that are being uh, beaten and arrested by the occupying Israeli forces. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, on the lack of response on behalf of the international community? Well, this is uh, what uh, we call the apathy of the international community when it comes to the rights of uh, Palestinians. Uh, the inaction of the United Nations Security Council uh, officials uh, worldwide regarding these uh, human rights violations, violations of international law. Um, Israel enjoys a culture of impunity and it can carry out its aggressions against Palestinians simply because of uh, the silence, as you mentioned, and also because of the green light given by the U.S. administration. You mentioned uh, an interesting term there, a cultural of immunity for the Israelis. What has to happen uh, to, uh, to change the status quo, that culture of immunity for the Israeli regime? Well, civil society organizations uh, call for uh, different actions to be taken to pressure uh, the Israelis to abide by international law. Uh, they came up with the idea of uh, BDS, uh, uh, raising awareness, um, uh, you know, conducting um, uh, workshops to raise awareness about these uh, violations. Um, unfortunately, the Palestinians, uh, they, they do not pin their hope on uh, Arab countries anymore. So they um, rely on the freedom-loving people around the world who show solidarity with the Palestinians, and this solidarity is growing. Uh, but unless Israel is forced by these uh, tactics, tactics, then it will carry on these aggressions. Thank you very much, journalist and political commentator Yusuf Alhelu, joining us on the line from London.